African Americans have been fighting for this country since the Revolutionary War. Often, they were fighting to give others the basic rights that they themselves were deprived of. During the Revolutionary War, approximately 5,000 black men fought for the Patriots. One of them, James Armistead Lafayette, served as a spy and played a key role in the Continental Army's final defeat of General Charles Cornwallis in the Battle of Yorktown. But in the American South, most black soldiers, including those promised freedom, were taken back into slavery after the war. During the War of 1812, about 500 free black men fought with future U.S. President General Andrew Jackson in the Battle of New Orleans. Black sailors made up about 15% of the U.S. Navy in a war where much of the fighting was done on the water. During the Civil War, about 180,000 black men fought for the Union Army, making up 10% of the total enlistment. Approximately 40,000 black soldiers died in the war. After the Civil War, Congress established an all-black regiment that came to be known as the Buffalo Soldiers. They fought Native Americans and protected settlers on the Western frontier as the U.S. expanded. They also served in the Philippine-American War and in Cuba during the Spanish-American War under future President Theodore Roosevelt. Among the ranks of the Buffalo Soldiers was Kathy Williams the only documented black woman to serve in the U.S. Army during the 19th century. She enlisted in 1866. After completing a not so thorough medical exam, she was able to pass herself off as a man named William Cathy. During World War I, more than 700,000 black men registered for military service. The all-black 369th Regiment, nicknamed the Harlem Hellfighters, was a unit composed of soldiers mostly from Harlem, New York. As reinforcements for French allies, the Harlem Hellfighters fought on the front lines longer than any other U.S. soldiers in the war. They literally never lost an inch of territory, and the regiment was awarded France's highest military honor, the Croix de Guerre. In fact, the regiment's band is credited as being responsible for introducing jazz music to the French, making it the most popular music genre in France for decades. At the beginning of World War II, the U.S. formed a division of black pilots to train at Tuskegee University in Alabama. Nearly 1,000 pilots would be known as the Tuskegee Airmen. Approximately one million black soldiers served in World War II. But when black veterans came home, they were denied the housing and education benefits of the GI Bill. In 1948, President Harry S. Truman signed an executive order to integrate the military. But many units remained segregated until 1954. Decades later, President Barack Obama became the first black commander in chief when he was sworn into office in 2009. But in 2020, only 11% of leading officers in the military were black, even though they made up 22.7% of the armed forces. Black people have been fighting for America for over 200 years. But in an institution where they have sacrificed as much as anyone, they are still looking for equality.